just amazed at what the knowledge I have, like the different person I am. Oh, Weber State is a gorgeous campus. Uh, every time I bike on the campus, I look up at the mountains, and every day it looks different. The classes are very small. The teachers take that time to know you, to know who you are. I really feel like Weber State was the place where I felt very comfortable, very accepted, and where I could develop as a person. I felt that at Weber State I've really been able to accomplish great things in a lot of my different um, areas of interest. For example, I'm on the Performing Arts sponsored Moving Company. Moving Company is a dance outreach program that reaches out to inner city schools and teaches them about um, different concepts like math and that's been really amazing to just see in their face that all of a sudden something becomes accessible that all of a sudden it's not geometry. It's about how they fit together and what can you create with geometry, how can you use it to your benefit. I think it's just a really amazing opportunity for not only the kids to learn from what we're doing, but for us to learn from the kids and to really take that and apply it to our own lives, that we really can achieve things that at some point may seem impossible, but they really are possible. The planetarium gives me an opportunity to, to merge my you know, my artistic ability and my love of figuring stuff out, my love of science. One of the things we do here at the planetarium is bring in thousands of children every year to the planetarium to learn about astronomy. And it's just great to see their reaction as you present materials in a way they haven't seen before. I think that Ron and Amy Jo are ambassadors on behalf of science. I think that they have such a deep affinity for the subject of science. Well, the planetarium is a pretty special place in our lives because Ron proposed to me here. He built a little planetarium show to propose to her. Um, and she had no idea that it was coming. And he said, hey, I want you to come and look at this show that I've made. Let me know. Do you think it'll work for you know a certain age group? And the music was nice and relaxing. And then it spelled out, AJ, will you marry me? And it was just the most amazing moment of my life. <laughs> and we both cried. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't cry very much. Yes, you did. <laughs> it, was, it was dark, you couldn't tell. <laughs> I know I can make a difference in the world, and I say that because I know it takes one person to sow a good seed and to set an example. I had a chance to work with Head Start, which I'm still doing right now, and that's where I'm doing uh, my research and it's just amazing the way I see these children develop and come out of their shells. I taught them four skills, using soft voices in the classroom, sitting in an appropriate body space, using words to ask for when you need help. First of all, the parents have come and reported to me, they're like, whatever you're doing with your children, you are doing a wonderful job. And it's our dream to go back to Kenya and open up schools for children in the rural Kenya. I'll be educating children that will have self-esteem, self-confidence, respect, and just unique children that will change the world. Absolutely, of course. Who else is gonna make a difference if it's not you?
I've gotten to know so many of the people graduating, uh, you know, with this graduating class, and their impact is going to be tremendous. I don't feel like there's any goal I can't accomplish as long as I put my mind to it. This is something that I've gained while I've been here at Weber State. And so I look back on my Weber State experience, it got me as far as it could. And now it's time for me to go out of my comfort zone once again and go to a new place, a new experience, a new challenge. Sometimes I don't know how I did it work, like working full time, going to classes full time, and having and being an, an extremely involved father and, and husband it was extremely hard and well worth it. I wouldn't trade it for anything. I think I'll celebrate so much. But you know what? It's not really that it's over because there's no end to knowledge and there's no end to education. Mm -hmm.